Guys, welcome to the stream. Let me know if you can hear me and if you can see me. If everything, uh, if everything sounds all right. Well, first, first of all, happy Friday, guys. Thank you all so very much for, uh, for being here tonight, hanging out with me. I'm your host, T. Welcome to the Adventures of TNT. And this is Metal Meltdown. Now, this is going to be a, a, di a, a, a different night because typically on Metal Meltdown, we, um, we, we play everything. But usually we lean in the direction of thrash, death, and some of the more extreme genres of metal music. But as I always say, we respect all genres and all eras of metal music. And this is why I wanted to do this stream. Because a little while ago, I had did a stream where we were listening to hair metal and glam metal. And it was great. A lot of times we hear metalheads talk about how cheesy and how terrible this era of metal was. And from the songs that I listened to that night, I had to disagree because some of them were really kick-ass. And so that's what this stream is all about tonight. We're going to be exploring hair metal, glam metal, and that era of heavy metal music. Now, I know sometimes it can kind of be, some of the bands can, they're in the middle with like hard rock, but we're including all of that tonight. So grab your headphones, grab yourself a drink, because metal always sounds better with alcohol. And we're going to go ahead and get this kicked off in just a second. Now smash that like button. Say what's up in the chat. Let me know you're rocking with me. Throw up those motherfucking metal hands. And, um, and yeah, let's go ahead and get this going. Now first, as, as I always do when I'm planning out my streams, when I think about hair metal, I think about hard rock or glam metal, that, that music in that era. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The big hair, the makeup, the outfits and all that craziness. It makes me think about like a hole in the wall. I didn't grow up listening to this music, but I watched the videos and I've seen pictures online. And so when I think about that era of music, I think about a sleazy, dirty, grungy-ass bar with wild, crazy people playing really cool music. And that's what I wanted to create with this background that I uh, d designed. And so um, that's where we're going to be tonight. We're going to be in a dirty, sleazy, nasty bar. And we're going to play some awesome music. There we go. Let's get some people in here. Oh, yeah. We're in that dirty, sleazy bar now. And I just want to let you guys know that if nobody ever told you you were anyone, you are somebody. All right, guys, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Let me know who's in the chat tonight. Josie, what's up, man? I got the guts to be somebody 
know your favorite hair metal bands, glam metal bands in the chat. Go in my chat right now. Let me know. Who lost Doctor? Def Leppard? Zebra. up in here too. That'd be pretty cool. You can let me know in the chat who the most badass hair metal band was. Or is. So look, as I said, I don't know how people can hate on this genre. So far, the songs that we've listened to, the two songs that I've listened to, are dope as hell. And hopefully the songs that we're going to listen to tonight are even better. So as you all know, I like for my streams to be as interactive as possible so you can leave your numbers in the chat. Not your phone numbers. Leave your numbers on what you think about the music that we're listening to out of 10. So let's go ahead and test that out. I want all of y'all to flood my chat right now with your numbers for body talk out of 10. 
what did you think about this song? Flood my chat. Body talk, I know your body talk. I see seven, eight, seven, eight, six, a ten, an eight, a two, no! A five, a three, and a one. Ah, oh, get out of here, Philo. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, um, so we're going to keep things going with uh, kicks. This is Blow My Fuse. Of course, I'm going to have you guys rank it at the end of the, uh, after, after we play it. But I want to hear some stories. I want to read some stories in the chat. So if you were coming up during this, this time and you were going to some of those dirty, swanky bars, well, maybe you were, maybe not, because you might have been a teenager. What, what was going on? Drug, sex, rock and roll? Were you meeting like some club rat in the bathroom line? You know, that's really funny when you go to like hole in the walls and it's like you're standing in line for the bathroom. That's where you always meet people. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me see. This is kicks. Blow my fuse. All right. Let's do it. Yeah, give me those stories.
Guys, this is Kicks with Blow My Fuse. What did y'all think? Flood my chat with those numbers. You say he got nothing to lose. And to blow his fuse. Alright, let's see. Two, four, seven, six. I got a meh. 6.7, a 3, a 9, 8, a 5, another 5.5, .5, a 2, a 6, an 8. Okay, all right. I see you guys. We're going to keep things going. Let me see. What do I have next? Def Leopard, Rock Brigade. All right, let's do it. Shout out to Pepper for this request. Alright, there we go. Let's rock y'all. Brigade. This came out in 1980. Now, you know, it's it's crazy because when I listen to this, like, <laughs> this is going to sound real stupid, but it makes me wish I had hair so that I could headbang and have my hair, like, go all over the place. Now I see why when people, they are um, very adamant about, like, metalheads, they're very adamant about, like, not wanting to cut their hair. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Leave your numbers in the chat. Let me know what you thought about this song. This is this is really good. I liked it. Um, It had almost like a, a, a 70s rock vibe, but still really, really cool. cool. All right. So the next artist we're going to be listening to is um, Lita Ford. And the song is called Ready and Willing. 
Wow, look at this. <laughs> look at this album art. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now, um, let me think. I, you know, I, um, I can't remember what the first Lita Ford song was, but I remember uh, watching the video and I was like, whoa. But then also hearing everybody in the chat talk about how big of a deal she was back in the day. Because this was, uh, if you were a metalhead or teen or young adult coming up, this was like your, your crush. All the guys wanted this girl. And it was like, not only did she look good, but she could play. So let's go ahead and check this out. And y'all can leave your numbers in the chat. Let's do it. This off the album, Out for Blood. Guys, that was Lita Ford with uh, Ready and Able. Ready, Willing, and Able. Now, um, I, I went ahead and I asked you guys in, in the comment section, who was your, your metal crush? And, um, well, well, first of all, I asked you if Lita Ford was your crush. I, did, I went ahead and I did a poll. And the majority of y'all in the chat said no. So that's surprising to me. And so I asked you in the chat, who was your crush? And let me see. Let me see some of these answers. Cause I know I seen uh, I seen Kelly Bundy. <laughs> I seen Kelly Bundy, Pat Benatar, Jan Kuaman. I'm not sure who that is. And I seen Doro. I remember Doro from Warlock. Uh, Joan Jett. Oh wow. Let me see, who else? Who else we got up in here? Okay, I guess that's it. 
Because so many other people, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, well, you can let me know in the chat. All right, let me see. We're going to go ahead and keep things going. Coming up next, what do I have? Ooh, this is uh, Wasp with School Days. Now, we opened up with Wasp with I Want to Be Somebody. And I've heard quite a few songs from um, this band's catalog. And I think they're an amazing band. They have really cool song, a uh, really cool sound. And these guys, they can get pretty filthy. So I can imagine back in the day, Wasp was a band that you didn't want your parents to know you listened to, if they even knew about them. Because these guys are, are wild. All right, let's go ahead and check this song out. School days. Leave your thoughts in the chat, y'all. Dance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible. Yeah, let me know your favorite Wasp song in the chat. Guys, I'm so sorry. It's like when I'm listening to this, I can see Blackie's face and I can see his like hand gestures and everything going. Like, I can just see it in my mind as I'm listening to this. I'm gonna take it back just a second, y'all. No more pausing.
Man, damn. Guys, that was Wasp with school days. That was that was dope. <laughs> oh man. You gotta love the grit in this guy's voice. Alright, let me see. What do we got? Ooh, crew with Knock'em Dead Kid. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> I always say this, like, I love how the guys, they have, like, the makeup and the hair and everything, but then they just sound so badass. Molly Crew, knock him dead. That was tough. That was tough as hell. How do people hate this shit? This is so good. Uh, I, I mean, the production quality, everything about this was really, really good. And and like I said, when we when I did my last hair metal live stream. And I was asking you guys to give me some of the best hair metal songs. Uh, we did listen to, uh, what was it, Girls, Girls, Girls? And, um, and I was like, how could people hate on this style of music when it's, fun? it's so fun to listen to? Knock em dead, knock em dead, kid. Knock em dead. <laughs> 
all right we're gonna keep things going guys leave your numbers in the chat let me know what you thought about this song now i i did ask y'all if this was worth doing a full album reaction and i kind of got mixed reviews some of y'all said yes and some of y'all said no so let me know what do y'all think was this the only good song on this album or is this one of those albums that you can like listen to all the way through Anyway, uh, Twisted Sister, stay hungry. Let's go. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Luis, what's up, man? That was, D I was about to say uh, D Snyder. That was Twisted Sister with Stay Hungry. Leave those numbers. Let me know what you thought. This is Poison, Fallen Angel. Let's go.
guys, this is Poison with Fallen Angel. So, obviously this song is about, uh, I guess, a runaway girl, street girl, living a fast life. She's Mama's Fallen Angel. And it's, it's very interesting how these bands can take um, situations like that and make it fun and upbeat. <laughs> this song was incredibly fun to listen to. And so I asked y'all in the chat, were you a Poison fan? And I seen 62% of people in the chat say they, they are. Now, I have like weird feelings about this. I want to know in the chat, let me know. Let me know how popular this band was. But also, I, 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 I don't know how to phrase this because I, I feel like they're a band where metalheads like them, but they were too afraid to tell people that they liked them. I, I feel like they're one of those bands that had closeted fans. Like people like Poison or metalheads maybe like Poison, but then they didn't want to tell people they did. Because as I said, the, fu this, the music so far is very fun, it's upbeat, but it's good. This is a good song. And so it's, it's kind of like hard to really hate on it, but I can see metalheads or even rockheads being like, ah, I hate Poison, they suck. But then they really listen to it. <laughs> so let me know. Let me know in the chat if that's what it was. Uh, let me see, Thrash Metal Elitist. At the time, Poison was huge. Poison, good with the ladies. Okay, yeah, I can hear that. I can tell this is a good ladies band. Poison was an entry band to harder stuff. Okay, ooh, 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 that's interesting. Let me know in the chat if Poison got you in the metal. If Poison got you into metal, and then you ended up listening to Metallica and Megadeth and and then Slayer and Sepultura. That's interesting. I would like to uh, look into that. All right, so let's see. No, Metalheads like CC because uh, you're talking about Cannibal Corpse? Extreme was what Poison wanted to be. Extreme what? This isn't extreme anything. This is like pop metal, pop rock almost. You said the girls liked it, so we de we dealt with them. Okay, all right, fair enough, fair enough. Who do these? Who do they go on tour with? If if any y'all y'all went to a Poison concert, who were they on tour with? Poison is how you get your ooh. Poison is how you get your girlfriend into hard rock. Ooh, ooh, I like that. I like that. That's why I'm curious. Because if they were like, um, you know, Judas Priest going on tour with Poison and Cannibal Corpse. <laughs> oh, uh, Dan the Man. Dan the Man says they got booed off stage in the 80s. Really? I don't know, man. That's kind of hard to believe. Oh, Philo said I'm lying. All right, um, let me see. You said MTV made them big, okay. Don't, ah, oh, damn it, I lost the chat. Chat's moving a little too fast for me. All right, Cinderella, Rat, Poison, Bon Jovi. They all tour together. Okay, I, I, I can see that. I can see that. All 
All right. So, uh, <laughs> Big Daddy, what's up with the $20 super chat? He says, no more poison. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we, we might play some new priests later on tonight. All right, uh, we're going to keep things going. Let me see. What do I have next? Yeah, keep sharing those stories, guys. I'm, lo I'm loving these comments. Let me know if you were going to the bars, uh, checking out these bands. If you were in the hole in the wall, meeting some ladies. LA Guns, Renegades. Shout out to Ed for this request.
man, guys, this was rat with I'm insane. That was a banger. Oh, man, that was dope. So far, all the rat songs that we played tonight and that I've heard for the most part have been incredibly good. So funny. It's so funny when um, I think last year we did a rat versus Motley Crue battle. And nobody requested this song. This should have been one of those songs that y'all requested for the battle, but this was so good. I love this. Yeah, leave your numbers. Leave your thoughts. Out of 10, what did y'all think? All right, I see a 9. I see a 6.7. I see an 8. I see another 8. I see a 2. Oh, Tony. Come on, bruh. Tony, let me know in the chat. Why are you giving this a 2? Their speed. Rat was good. Yes, I agree. This is this is really good, y'all. I see a 7. I see a 6. I see a 7.5. What else do we have? I see an 8. I see a 2. Oh, bitter. Come on, man. I see a 6. I see 6-ish. <laughs> Jennifer Andrews. Um, let me see. What else we got? I see an 8. I see a 7. I see 4 from Lord Narco Wookie. 7.5, 8.6. Seven, seven, and eight. Skates gives it a six point se uh, six point five seven. All right, Tony, let me see. Didn't sound good to me. Oh, okay. All right, good enough. Good enough. I'm not. I'm not gonna press you. But I don't. I don't know, man. It's like as soon as this comes on, this this sounds like a banger to me. It's like if I was a record executive and I heard this, I'd be like, yo, this is a hit. Let me know if I'm wrong, y'all. Respect my authority. What's up, man? All right, we're going to keep things going. Let me see. What do I have? What do I have? Dang, y'all coming with it tonight. Okay, let me see. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. We just got done with some rock. Uh, I mean, rat. I have... Uh, Queensryche? In force? Okay, alright, let's check it out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is Europe. Alright. Let me, uh, make sure I get the right one. Alright, there we go. All right, shout out to Jasper for this request. Guys, leave your thoughts in the chat. Man, maybe we might get some Saxon tonight.
This album that from Queens Right, The Warning, if this is worth a full album reaction. Y'all can remember the last full album reaction I did from them was Operation Mindcrime. And that album was amazing. Oh my god. Just thinking about it. Just ah, so good. Oh Chris uh, Chris is like no. <laughs> Oh, it's the second song. Oh, okay. Yeah, y'all let me know in the chat. We might make that happen. Have a full album reaction to uh, Queen's Right. The Warning. Focus, y'all. Hot stuff. Shout out to Craig Piper.
This is Crocus. Hot stuff. Give me those numbers. What do you think? So leave your thoughts in the chat. Coming up next, this is Europe with Cherokee? Okay, all right, let's check him out. Sounds like, like stadium rock.
guys. <laughs> this is Ch Europe with Cherokee. Now, um, <coughs> so tonight we have heard a whole array of um, of hair metal, hard rock, and um, and just dope music. And something that I've come to find is that whether these guys are talking about street girls or somebody being hooked on drugs or partying, I find that a lot of these bands can take some of the most terrible things in life or even in history and make it sound very fun and upbeat. So this song was titled Cherokee and it was about Native Americans and the Trail of Tears. Horrible thing. But the way that they put it in this song, it's pretty cool. <laughs> oh man. So um, it kind of it kind of reminded me of uh, Iron Maiden's Run to the Hill. But anyway, we're going to keep things going. Coming up next, uh, let me see. This is House of Lords with Looking for Strength. Oh, shit. All right. I've never heard of House of Lords, but um, Looking for Strange, that's that's about trying to get some, right? Uh, shout out to Joe C for this request. Let's check this out. He said, am I buying that album? Maybe. Maybe. I've heard a lot of good music tonight.
<laughs> Guys, this is House of Lords looking for Strange. Leave your thoughts in the chat. Let me know what you thought about this song. Now, um, what is Strange? I've, I've heard it. I'm assuming it means sex. But what exactly is it? You said untap put in tape. <laughs> what? <laughs> BL Ge Ge Geiger. He says untap pudding pudding what? Oh, untap pudding tater. I don't even know what that means. Somebody give me English. What is strange? T when you're married, strange in you left hand. <laughs> oh man. Y'all are wild. You wanna get some strange. New JJ. Okay, alright, alright, alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, y'all are crazy. Y'all are the craziest chat I've ever heard. Oh man. Alright. Side action. Primus. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, I, I heard Primus. Primus sucks. But I've never heard them say anything about strange. Um It's something new. Okay. Some new coochie. Okay, alright. Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> Psychosis Media is in the chat, y'all. Make sure you show them some love. Looking for strange. I asked y'all in the chat. Hold on, what did I say? I said, ever look for strange? And 50% of y'all said yes. So you was trying to get some coochie. All right. <laughs> We're going to keep things going. Uh, we got White Snake with Bad Boys. All right, let's do it.
box? This is louder.
All right, guys, so tonight we are exploring 80s hair metal, glam metal, and everything in between in the 80s. So we are going to try and stay on point, stay on topic, uh, and keep it going. This, once again, was Hardcore Superstar uh, with Last Call for Alcohol. We appreciate the request, but we're going back to the 80s, y'all. This is Pantera, Power Metal. We can talk in the chat. That was Pantera with Power Metal. Leave your thoughts and your numbers in the chat. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me, because I'm, I'm just getting over a cold, so y'all have to excuse me. Um, but so far, we've explored a lot of metal tonight. We've explored bands all across the scene and I have to say a lot of the songs that we play tonight absolute gems straight bangers 
And as I said before, it still blows my mind when people say that they don't like this era or genre of metal music. Because regardless of how the artist's hair looked or if they wore makeup, it's the music that counts. And the music is good. Can't deny it. <clears throat> now, I was hoping that uh, I was going to stream a little bit longer <clears throat> and maybe have a battle tonight. But that's probably not going to happen because I'm still recovering from a cold. So I am going to be wrapping up the stream um, in just a second. But I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. I want to thank you all for coming to hang out, sharing your stories and your opinions about the music that we're listening to. And if you're new here, if you've never been to one of my streams before, uh, usually I stream every Friday uh, at midnight, or we're trying to do a little earlier now. But usually um, we explore the genre of metal music. And as I said at the beginning of the stream, we respect all genres and all eras of metal and we give it a chance because some of y'all have been rocking with me from our uh, thrash and death metal and more extreme eras of metal music and you came to hang out for the hair metal stream so hopefully you heard something you liked because that's what it's all about it's like keeping good music alive and discovering some new shit as well. So feel free after I close out this stream to leave a comment down below in the comment section. Well, first of all, like this video. Like this video if you enjoyed yourself, if you heard some good sounds tonight. And uh, yeah, and that just helps me with the video and the algorithm and all that good shit. But once I close this out, just come back to the video and let me know what your favorite song was. What what band, what artist, what song did you, you hear that blew your mind? And if you don't have a, a, a song that you like, then share a story. Because I, I love reading y'all stories about, you know, partying, getting drunk, and barfing all over the place. But, uh, but anyway, guys, happy Friday. Thank y'all so very much for hanging out with me tonight. It's always a pleasure. And, uh, and hopefully you'll come back next week. I'm not sure what we're gonna what era we're gonna explore next week, but I guarantee it's gonna be dope. But anyway, thank y'all so very much for hanging out with me. Guys, y'all have a great weekend and I'll see y'all later. Take care. <laughs>